fellow wireless professionals and enthusiasts, as you already might know, rapid expansion of Wi-Fi technology requires additional tools beyond Wi-Fi site survey and planning. Such tools are needed for professionals who deal with the deployment, maintenance, and security of wireless LANs. To meet these needs, Advanced Network Devices introduces OmniPeak from Savius, formerly known as Wild Packets. OmniPeak is a powerful wireless packet sniffer, network monitor, and protocol analyzer designed for wired and wireless LANs. Virtually anyone who wants a full picture of the 802.11 A, B, G, N, and AC traffic needs to look at the OmniPeak. Loaded with many user-friendly depth and breadth features, OmniPeak for Wi-Fi combines performance and flexibility with an ease of use unmatched in the industry. OmniPeak is able to capture every packet on the air and is able to display important information such as the list of APs and stations, per node and individual channel statistics, signal strength, a list of packets and network connections, protocol distribution charts, and much, much more. By providing this information in easy to understand format, OmniPeak for Wi-Fi can help you view and examine packets, pinpoint network problems, and troubleshoot Wi-Fi networks, or any additional software and hardware issues within the network. Now let's take a look at what we can see with OmniPeak. Once you uh, launch OmniPeak, uh, one of the most important issues is that you can easily um, decrypt the packets that have been sniffed. All you need to do is uh, basically associate to the Wi-Fi network. And once you do that, then you can easily get information with respect to uh, the uh, decrypt packets. You just define the key type as well as your phrase and SSID and automatically the key is generated to decrypt the packets, which is the most important thing for the Wi-Fi network. Next thing is once you see the main screen, you will be able to, in the main dashboard, you will be able to see the information about captured data. You can see the packets, flows, events, applications, and uh, the IP addresses collected, and then the countries that the session during the execution was able to get the information from the um, transmitter and receiver. Uh, the most first important uh, piece of information is the amount of data at any moment of time that has been captured. This can be specific to a zone or it can be the entire zone, depending on what the user wants. Once we see that information, we can also see the channels that are being utilized. We can see uh, the, uh, the quality of the signal, what channels is being used, what was the average, what was the minimum, maximum, all that data is available and at user's disposal. Furthermore, users can see a lot more than this. You can see also the number of events that occurred, if there's any errors, if there's any warnings, informational information can be seen. Also, network utilization, number of packets captured, all that information can be seen within the uh, Savius uh, OmniPeak. Once we go to applications, you can see exactly top applications by flow. You can see by the number of bytes, as well as we can see by categories, so web services, networking, network monitoring, any activity that we can, we can basically capture, it can be seen here. Also, we can see application utilization per application. So if you have multiple applications, SSL, Yahoo, whatever has been captured, it can be seen here on number of megabits per second. So we can select the range and also we can get more details about what happened in that specific range. In the Compass sub-pane, we can see the top protocols, top flows, as well as the top nodes that has been utilizing specific protocols. In the capture window, we can see the details of the packets, any specific packet. Um, we can also see detailed information about the OSI model. So we can see the speed, we can see the 
uh, frequency, the standard being used, signal level, um, basically noise level, all that information can be seen within the uh, captured packets. Events will show you if there's any warnings, if there is any uh, informational information that you need to know. Uh, you can see here, for example, expert wireless PSF violation as an informational piece of information between source and destination. Any specific notes that you can put here can be added. In the expert mode, we can see the client server communication. So we can select a specific communication and we can drill deep into exactly what happened between the source and destination. Moreover, here we can double click and we can also get the bounce chart about, specific, about a specific event that happened. And we can see the details, if there is any details about that uh, specific application. I need to make my window a little bit smaller so I can have access to the lower portion. You can see here, I can see the packet details, the bounce chart, the payload. Uh, we can do comparative analysis and we can see the summary information. So that is possible within any of the packets that has been captured. So I will uh, select another set. We can see information about the payload. We can see the packets. And if there's any bounce chart between transmitter and receiver or client and server and relative time, the packet number, all the details can be seen. And from here, we can further dig in deeper into what that event was. And we can see the details of the payload. Moreover, we can see the flows within the network as well. So we can see here between the source and destination, the number of packets that were exchanged as an example and we can see the details of that exchange we can see also the event summary and if we want we can dig in again to the details of exactly what has happened we can see also the applications what applications were used by which nodes which is quite quite powerful tool in able to see the users of the specific application. So we have top application usage and we can see who has been using those applications the most within the Wi-Fi network. In the visual section, we can see a detailed peer map of the network of all the sender and receiver or client and server. We can see it as multicast, broadcasts, and Unicast. If there is broadcast within the network, which is quite extensive, we can easily troubleshoot from this uh, window. We can also select a specific uh, session and we can see exactly how between source and destination, number of protocols that were sent, number of packets that were sent. Uh, you can see it was all UDP, for example. And then the thickness of the, uh, of the link will show you how much of bandwidth was used. In the graphs, we can virtually see every single parameter in an easy to understand graphical format. For example, here for packet sizes, packet size distribution, if there's any physical errors, it can be seen here. Pings, if there's any pings that are sent, TCP analysis, any parameter from the numerous parameters that can be seen here. Also, you can see voice over IP can be seen here. If there's any SIP errors can be seen. It's quite, quite comprehensive. Email protocols, for example, there's tons of information that can be seen in an easy to understand format. We can further go to the summary and we can see details of the, of the session. What was the start date and time, the duration, um, how many packets were discarded, uh, the number of packets and bytes received and transmitted, all the details are seen here. We can see here the node detail, we can see the source and destination country grouped. We can see also the number of bytes that was sent across that specific source and destination. We can see protocol distribution and we can break down these protocol distributions in detail. 
So if I click here, I can see the users that were using that specific protocols. Uh, we can see here the applications as well that are being used for that session of the captured data. And again, we can dig into details of who was using those sessions, which is quite, quite powerful. And we can, as mentioned before, we can see the summary of the countries that the session, the amount of bytes used uh, for the session for each country per country. For wireless LAN, we can see exactly the access points, the specific radio, who was connected to that radio, and the encryption type that was used. We can see the standard that has been utilized, the number of bytes that has been sent and received. We can see the channel detail as well. And we can see data regarding signal, such as uh, signal strength, uh, if it is poor, not, averages, uh, and so forth. And if you were roaming from one AP to the other, you can uh, basically get that information from this sub panel. This is an overview of exactly what uh, OmniPeak can do for you from Savius. Uh, we will have additional videos in respect to how to analyze this information on how to use these, this tool for troubleshooting purposes. I thank you for attending this session from Advanced Network Devices and look forward to see you in the future sessions. <music>